Good day fellow hunters, this is Jared Lantern with another prop review video for you today. Um, I'm actually doing a prop review of an item that I nece not necessarily uh, wanted. It wasn't on my wish list by any means. Um, but this is the 6 foot animated witch um, available through Big Lots this year. Uh, this is uh, one of the Big three or four like larger animated props that uh, Big Lots had for sale this year. Um, I did buy the uh, six foot animated witch from Big Lots last year. Um, I have since uh, sold that prop just because um, I wasn't a huge fan of it. It wasn't a huge addition to my uh, witch collection. Um, so, you know, I really didn't have any intentions on buying this one. Um, but I actually got it at a huge discount, um, and I went to, it wasn't my local Big Lots, I was actually visiting my parents, and at their Big Lots they had a box um, for this witch sitting on uh, the shelf next to the other boxes, and then it had a little uh, written note on the box saying that the uh, legs were broken, and then I noticed it had a clearance sticker, and I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. So here's the box, and as you can see, it says right there that the legs are broken. And you could tell just by looking at this that there's not necessarily legs. It's just one of the uh, the extender poles that has the four feet at the bottom. And um, so I knew that there wasn't necessarily legs that could be broken. I assumed what the problem would be. Um, and then so... Then I saw the price, and so you see the original price right there, of course, is 50 bucks, and they had it for sale on clearance for $15.02, which I thought, you know, even though this was not on a my wish list per se, uh, it was really hard to pass up a uh, six-foot animated prop for that price. So I definitely picked it up, and I was also curious as to what was actually broken with it. Um, curiously, the metal poles were actually taped to the back of the box which I found strange but anyway um, I brought it home and I set it up and I'll show you what uh, the, what the malfunction was so if you look here you're looking at the bottom the uh, of the prop itself the base where the feet connect into so this part right here is what was broken so that's the um, the bottom part with the, uh, the four feet um, clip into. And you can see right here at the bottom of the screen there, you see that it's broken. And that's what they consider for the legs to be broken. Otherwise, you see the uh, extender poles are all fine. They're, the, uh, not, they're not the ones that you connect together like with the uh, little cylinder pipe thing. These are actually like the... the uh, uh, push button metal ones, they're much more durable. And those are all fine, and it, that, that's the only part that that was uh, wrong with it. And so they felt that a nearly like 70% discount was uh, in, uh, appropriate for that. And I don't know who did the discount, but thank you very much for doing that discount. Um, so I, th I thought that was a really a huge price drop for such a small malfunction. So as I stated before, this was not on my wish list. Um, it's one of those props, a lot of them were available through uh, Home Depot last year where it's kind of like the the plastic head with the very cheesy uh, moving jaw. Um, but you know, still for 15 bucks, I definitely couldn't pass it up. And just looking at the details, it actually has a pretty decent looking face. Uh, the, the eyes do light up red. Uh, she has a uh, purple and black hat and a purple and black uh, cape and dress and everything with the lacy details. I actually really do like the hands. Um, the hands are, are, they didn't just cop out and do the, the basic skeletal hands that a lot of these props do. It actually has somewhat decent detail on it to make them look like old lady hands basically. Um, 
The uh, audio obviously leaves a lot to be desired, um, but uh, I'll go ahead and play it for you anyway. So again, not the not the greatest prop by any means, but uh, again, couldn't have passed it up for that price. And um, so I'm just gonna have to you know figure out how to stand it up right now. She's kind of just has the three legs, and then my shoe is a uh, kind of taking uh, taking spot for that uh, last foot down there. But you know, I can even just put her, you know, stake her into the ground or anything. It doesn't really matter. Um, so, yeah, so there it is, the six foot animated witch from Big Lots. Not sure if, uh, your guys' Big Lots have this one on display for you to actually see. Um, the one in my parents, uh, where my parents live, theirs was not on display, and nor is the one in my hometown wasn't displayed either. So, um, just want to get this video out there in case you had considered buying this, um, on a scale of 1 to 10 for the prop itself, I'm going to give it I'll give it a 4. Like I said, it's not a, it's not an amazing prop. Um definitely has some flaws. You can see the <laughs> the neck uh piece right there. Um when the mouth opens, you could see other parts. So it's not uh not by any means an amazing animatronic, but for 15 bucks, yeah, sure I'll take it. Um can't recommend it for the $50 price, but if by uh, some amazing coincidence you also have a similar issue with a local big lots where they knock it down to uh, 15 or so bucks, sure, pick it up. Um, so there it is, you guys. I uh, just want to share it with you. Thanks, you guys, so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, happy hunting.